A few weeks ago, rumours started that Brent Spiner might have a cameo in the upcoming Star Trek Picard show. While nothing has been confirmed, I thought we should take a look at how that could work, given the circumstances surrounding his character, Data. Hello everyone, my name is Captain Jack and welcome back to Trek Central. Today we're discussing how Brent Spiner's iconic character, Data, could appear in Star Trek Picard. Now, how do we go about seeing Captain Data in the new Star Trek Picard series, you ask? This is a great question. First, let's take a look at where we previously last saw Data in the Star Trek universe. In 2379, Data was still serving as the operations officer on board the Sovereign class USS Enterprise E, under then Captain Jean-Luc Picard. During this time, Data was expected to succeed Commander William T. Riker as first officer of the starship, following Riker's promotion to captain of the lunar class USS Titan. For reference, this was shown in the feature film Star Trek Nemesis. During this time, the Enterprise was ordered to the planet of Romulus, where a new Praetor had come to power, Shinzon of Remus. Though it soon turned out that this new Praetor actually wanted to annihilate Earth and by extension the Federation, by use of his Phalion radiation weapon. After a deadly battle of Shinzon's flagship, the Scimitar, the Enterprise was almost destroyed, but at the last moment of the battle, Data physically jumped from the Enterprise's breached hull into the vacuum of space and boarded the Scimitar. From within, he fought his way to the bridge of the ship, rescued Captain Picard and beamed him back to the bridge of the Enterprise, using a new prototype emergency transporter unit. In order to stop the Phalon radiation weapon from destroying the Enterprise, Data used his phaser to destroy it, resulting in total destruction of the Scimitar and Data along with it. Though Data was gone, the Enterprise mourned his death, but the image of him lived on in his recently discovered android brother, B4, who retained some of Data's memories, such as his love for the song, Blue Skies. Now the canon of Data ends here in the Star Trek universe, but you're most likely asking, how would we end up with a Captain Data in Star Trek Picard? Good question. To answer that, we must step into the extended canon of the Star Trek universe. Let's make it so. To be clear, the following information is not official Star Trek canon, hence why we call it Extended. You can find my reference material in the video description below. In Extended lore, Data would eventually be resurrected, however there are a few different stories of how this came to be. One even includes Q paying Picard and B4 a visit and over Picard's objections, restoring Data to life in B4's body. Though I would not consider this the proper explanation as it's sort of a mini story in the universe. A proper explanation would occur in the year 2384. The memories of Data were eventually transferred into a new body, which was designed and constructed by his father, Noon Young Sung, who was actually not dead. The body featured significant upgrades from Data's original design, including a better human appearance as well as the ability to give off human life signs. Data's resurrection was actually planned much earlier by Dr. Sung, but due to the Borg invasion of 2381, his work was set back after his lab was destroyed in a Borg attack. Eventually Soong, who by this time was inhabiting the android body he designed for Data, managed to rescue B4, who had been kidnapped by the Breen. In the process of a rescue, Soong upgraded the firmware of B4 so that the memories of Data would survive the transfer into the new body Soong was currently in inhabiting. Sadly, after the transfer was successful, Soong deleted himself from the body to allow Data to take over the new design. With the transfer complete, Data was officially resurrected. After his resurrection, Data would rejoin his former friends aboard the Enterprise, but not rejoin Starfleet straight away for several personal reasons. His story would continue on, but it would not explain how he got to the rank of Captain. To learn about Captain Data, we need to look at some specific reading material, that being the Star Trek comic Countdown, which was a comic book series that served as a prequel to the 2009 Kelvin timeline film and a sequel to the Prime TNG era stories. A little bit of detail, the plot of Star Trek Countdown was actually designed by Alex Kurtzman and Robert Orkai, Kurtzman being the current franchise boss for Star Trek, keep that in mind. In this story, by the year of 2385, Data had been resurrected due to extensive research by the Soon Foundation and his longtime friend, Geordie LaForge. They eventually managed to unravel the Data Matrix, allowing for all of Data's memories, his personality and experiences to override B4. Although this was seen as a resurrection of Data, with Ambassador Spock comparing it to his own experience, Data saw it more as a return. By the year of 2387 in the Countdown comic, Data was once again active within Starfleet and had risen to the rank of Captain, assuming command of the Enterprise-E after Captain Picard's retirement from Starfleet. His last mission on file at the time was saving Ambassador Spock and the Romulan known as Nero from a Riemann attack. Here you can see how this story might tie into the upcoming Star Trek Picard show. 
Now we're presuming that the Enterprise-E would still be around by Picard's time, as well as Data having been restored beforehand. I mentioned the Countdown comic as that's where we saw Captain Data, but there is some additional information. As I mentioned earlier, Star Trek Countdown's plot was written by Alex Kurtzman and Robert Orkai. It's worth noting that Alex Kurtzman serves as the executive producer of Star Trek Picard. This is a key bit of information, as it means the show could reference the comic book. Regards referencing the comic book, this has already sort of happened. How so you ask? Well, the new Starfleet uniforms we have seen little bits of so far seem to have been inspired by those shown in the Countdown comic. I'll put an image on screen now, but many of us did notice how similar Data's Starfleet uniform was compared to the Ensign we saw in one of the Picard clips leaked a few months ago. You can now see why many of us at Trek Central think this might link in. The Picard series is based around the character of Jean-Luc Picard, so it's highly unlikely we will see Brent Spine's return as Data, but it's something nice to think about in my opinion. Imagine the USS Enterprise arriving to help out with Data as a captain. Ah, I can just imagine seeing the Sovereign class in 2019 graphics. It would be epic to say the least. So to round off this video, it is possible to have Data back in the Star Trek universe. Will we see him in Star Trek Picard though? Unlikely in my opinion. Maybe in a second season once the show is firmly on its feet, but not right away. Then again, I would happily be surprised. So I leave the question open to yourselves. Would you like to see Data return in Star Trek Picard, perhaps as a captain and a potentially commanding of the USS Enterprise-E? Let me know your thoughts and opinions in the comment section below. Well, that's it for me. If you want to keep up to date with our latest Star Trek news, then remember to subscribe to Trek Central right here on YouTube. You can also follow us on Twitter, Facebook and Instagram, or now you can even join our brand new, very own Discord server. We hope to see you there. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.